Hi guys, it's Uga and welcome back to another video and today I bring you the review for The Murder Rule by Tarvala McTiernan. Um, this is a mystery thriller, okay? And it's more psychological revenge story. So the synopsis on Goodreads is very simple. First rule, make them like you. Second rule, make them need you. Third rule, make them pay. And it goes a little bit like this. So the main character is Hannah who had, is a third year law student and she was raised by an alcoholic mother named Laura that she has a trouble past and Hannah is on a mission to try to not save a man from prison um, so there is this project in I think it's Virginia or something like that it's called the Innocent Project so a, prof a law professor makes assembly with students to go with wrong conviction cases and help them get justice you know get the conviction overturned and they go into this case where Anna knows that the man is guilty and the man should be in prison. Maybe not for that crime, but it should be because he did something in the past. So the story is that principle. Hannah is going to this project to sabotage and to hold the responsible accountable. Something is going to happen and the story goes from there. Um, what did I thought about the story without many spoilers? I think some of the parts are very predictable you know I was expecting that to happen from you know it was not a reveal because it's a typical thriller twist and I'm like okay I, I was expecting this something like that on these lines um, it makes total sense and it goes a bit like this and I think till the middle more or less I was not invested because I was invested I was liking the story but it was nothing like over extraordinary is like something that I'll say it's mind-blowing, it's something that will change your mind, definitely one of the best thrillers. No, it was just a normal book. Uh, you know, I like the way the Hannah character is, you know, we follow someone who's not good, someone who's not discovering the truth, something who, someone who is like sabotaging others, so she's very a mean person and bad person in some ways. And I'm like, okay, it, it's a different setting, but um, the story was not refreshing. And then you reach to a point where things start to change and it makes a little bit more appealing the story it makes a, a, a little of the turn now if you ask me like it's enough to be one of it be an amazing thriller no it's a turn that maybe for someone who's not versatile in thrillers may enjoy a lot and maybe oh this is amazing and it goes and the rest of the story like oh shit this is so good it's so different for me, it was like, okay, we see some turns, we see the story changing and narrative and character setting and everything. And when we reach to a point where things starts to be disclosed or of everything, I'm like, okay, this is interesting. It's an interesting story, uh, but it doesn't, it's not new, it's not um, different, it's, it's more or less the same as always. You know, and I think that was my biggest problem because it was similar to other books that I've read. Um, this, the, I like being follow the main antagonist and how she acts and how she is. That is a very strong point if you like an unsympathetic uh, character. If you like those type of stories, it's a good story. Um, but in terms of thriller, it's not. It's more like a mystery and it's more like a wrongdoing. There's some mess up things that happen yes there are some secrets that are disclosure that are good secrets yes but it's nothing very refreshing or nothing very mind-blowing that you were like oh I will never guess it there are some hints that things happen in a certain way it's not very like pff, not seen that coming you see it's there are very, it's very plain a little bit. Um, not say it's going to disappoint it, not say it's not good, but seeing other thrillers, reading other thrillers that are so good, so different and play with tropes in another way, have some amazing adventure or action and mystery, even messed up things. This one, it's a little bit meh, you know, at the end. Uh, but yeah, if you like this type of thrillers or if you 
are new to thrillers maybe i'll suggest to pick this one the narration is very good the audiobook is that's how i read it it's very good i like the voices i like the how the narrator do things so i think it's a very good choice um if you are very into thrillers and you need something that is refreshing maybe it's not my first choice to go um yeah uh, this is my review for the murder rule. Tell me in the comments if you are excited, if you this was in your radar or not. Um, what you what what do you think? Tell me all in the comments. If you do that, don't forget also to leave a like and to subscribe to my channel. It's very important to grow the channel. Uh, I have a ton of reviews and tag videos to come. I also have affiliate links below if you want to support the channel. There are links for buying books through Book Tutorial Blackwells that it doesn't charge you anything extra, but I get a return, so it's another way. I have Squid, I have Kofi, which is like a tip system. You can tip there and yeah i post videos every tuesdays thursdays and sundays and i see you guys on my next video okay bye